can't catch me doing that for no man. <laughs> What's up, friends? It's your girl Jojo, and I'm back at it again with another True Crime Thursdays. Ah! So, today we're back inside because up to this day, I still can't figure out where to film. But we're trying our best here. Um, last two weeks, I missed a video because I have a secret project coming for y'all, and then last week, it was just lazy. So, yeah, but don't worry, I got a juicy case for y'all today. A very, very juicy case. I did my eyebrows off camera because my little sister told me that I take too long to do my eyebrows. She's so mean, but she's right. So I did them off camera. And let me get straight into this video. So, wait my face because I'm sweating. This story starts with Sion Hope. He, walked, he was also known by the nickname So, and he was a 36-year-old laborer. Now, he was known to be very quiet and easygoing by everyone who knew him. And he lived in an area called Haggett St. Andrew. And this, is, this area is where all of this is going to take place. And Haggett right now is known as a very famous like, hiking spot. But back then, it was known to be where laborers used to sit and work. Sit. Used to work. <laughs> Reminder, if y'all see me looking this way, is because my mirror is over there. I swear I put it in different places every time I film, but I'm testing it out, guys. I'm testing it out. But this story starts on February 22nd, 1933. And... Sion was at home and him and his wife got into this argument. No, the most sources say that this argument was because she cooked food and didn't give him any. And I honestly felt that, but yeah. And then other uh, sources said that it was over a pound of flour not being accounted for. But I guess we'll never know. We gotta guess which one it is. But yeah, that's where the story starts. Um, his wife's name is Cooley, by the way. That's what she had to go by. And this argument carried on into the next day. Well into 9.30 the next morning. So during this argument, this man threatened to kill his wife with a pitchfork. No, I understand that food is important. But come on, can't you cook? Respectfully, but gotta understand the times we're in. <laughs> mm. But can't catch me doing that for no man. Just playing. But yeah. And after he threatened her, she was like, okay, I'm gonna go report this because why are you threatening me? So she made her way to District F police station but she changed her mind for some reason and she went back towards home but on her way there she saw constable fitz Collimore. constable fitz Collimore, and she reported the incident to him um i changed my yellow to like a burnt orange mixed with a brown because the yellow was not working with my skin tone as a base color so we had to switch roles so mind your business anyways so back to the story our friend Sion so he saw this conversation going on between his wife and the constable and he came up and he had a com a whole conversation with them keep that in mind a whole conversation and after a well no he then threatened them and his wife Cooley was like yo officer you see this right you see this with your own two eyes like i'm not making this up this man is 
started me. So then uh, Sion turns to leave as if he's gonna leave. So they believe he's gonna leave, but then he abruptly turns back around and attacks his wife. She maintained injuries to her head, hands, and body. And when the officer tried to help, Sion actually took the officer's baton and beat him with it. And this, his wife used this as an escape route and she she dashed off you know she took off and she was later found unconscious in a nearby cane field yeah but Kalashi got away though like oh damn over oh, some food though damn make sure y'all cook for y'all husbands they crazy out here so after this encounter, Sion made his way back home. And on his way back home, this man exclaimed he's going for his machete. And when he comes back, y'all better look out. So in Beijing terms, watch a cut calls. <laughs> yeah. But basically, he went home for his machete. And when he came back, he was ready for some people. So... Be prepared. Yo, I didn't even give a warning, y'all. <laughs> Stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. This is not for children. Um, It involves graphic details of crime scenes. It also includes <laughs> the killing of animals. So, um, yeah, kids, don't watch this. I'm going to give you time to click off. I'm going to call your mama dad. All right, they're gone now? Okay. Back to the three. So, our friend Sion got his machete and he walked a quarter mile towards Haggett's. And... Towards Haggett's yard. And this is when... Why do I never have this mirror up when I'm ready to film? Um, this is when he saw Aileen Clark. She was on a passenger washing clothes, not too far from where he was. And he went up to her. He didn't say a word. And he just chopped her. And it wounded her head and her shoulders. Then, yes, I said then. It's not over. He butt up on Constable James Thomas Thompson. He butt up on Constable James Thompson, and he also wounded him in his head and shoulders. This man's dangerous. So during this, a few workers, because as I said, Haggis was known to be a place for plantation workers. And some workers saw this and came up to the scene and a manager actually passed him like driving down the road and Sion was like don't worry it's all good don't be afraid and then he proceeded to chase the man's workers like what? Mr. Davis was like what? <laughs> But yeah, so after that, he couldn't catch up to the workers. Um, luckily, I was not what to say unfortunately, but luckily he couldn't catch up to the workers. But unfortunately, he went back to the previous scene and this is where he killed Lottie Taylor. Right, so after killing Lottie Taylor, So made his way to a nearby field where he saw some women and... He chased after them. After seeing what happened as it was nearby, they tried to escape from So. But unfortunately, he caught up to them. And the first person he caught up to was Helena Belgrave. And he had 
had her down and then caught up to Louisiana walks and he slashed and had her 22 times like this girl didn't do you nothing at all but it was alleged that after this somebody actually called out for him and this stopped him from going after the other women that were on this field luckily thank jesus thank the heavens because it's already tragic and the amount of lace he's stuck so far on um, provoked is amazing so after this he followed some workers to bruceville river bruceville where i never heard of this place I don't live here. I refuse to believe I live in Barbados. But anyways, so he followed some workers to Bruceville River. And this is where he found his next victims. Which will happen to be El Abino, Rosa King, and John Richard Fawn. Okay, so as I told you, he found his next few victims. So he passed John first. So his eye for victims that did definitely wasn't men but he still hit that constable though confusing confusion but he passed john and he went straight to ella and he hit her twice but it was with the broad side of the knife blade so she escaped and rosa i guess she knew him and she was shook and she was like what the no we got a quiz because it may have been what the f but it may have been what the r and if you're a you know what that means when i was reading it it just said expletive and i don't know which conclusion to jump to so you know we all think it was w2tf or w2r Anyways, so she was like, she was shocked and she exclaimed, what the are you doing? What are you doing, Hopi? And this is when he slashed her neck, almost decapitating this woman. Like, my gosh. So after this, because along with asking what he's doing, she asked if he's a madman. Probably where he almost decapitated her. But after this, he made his way to Lake Tenantry. And people were there speculating, um, I think, to bite animals. And he killed a pig. And after seeing that, people ran. And while they ran, he killed another pig. And he wounded a mule um so i'm just trying to figure out what the animals did too like still trying to figure out like all of this over some food or a missing bag of flour like come on come on no if it was some jafet i'd understand but to each their own to each their own so before he had went to the lake, um, he had expressed interest in this one person. And he was like, it's Clark and he found me that I want. And it's very funny. Probably not. But I'm family to Clark. So like, to Clark's. So it's like, I wonder if this was somebody that I was family to. Through my grandfather. But I've never met him, so... No problems on that side. Go off. But yeah, so before this and after he, when he said this, he went to go kill the animals. And he went into this man's house by the name of Springer. And no one was inside at the time. So he just smashed the interior of the house and left. After he left Springer's house, after destroying it, basically, 
he left and he went to Clark's house, smashed the door in, and he set fire to the dwelling. This fire was later put out when he left, though, like, immediately after he left. But this man already murdered people and he want to add arson to the list. Sir, you already getting life. What more do you want? So after this, mirror stay up. Your mother, respectfully. <laughs> so after this, our guy so Sion, he made his way back to Haggit's yard. And this is where he saw two donkeys. He killed one by puncturing its diaphragm. And he injured the other one severely. And after this, he then proceeded towards a factory and tried to enter this factory. But the manager of the factory, obviously probably hearing all of the commotion has been going on for basically almost this, <clears throat> most of the day, I guess, or morning, he stopped him from coming in with a gun. He was like threatening to shoot him um if he didn't leave the laborers alone so Sion left because he only had a knife a machete to my understanding and you don't bring a knife to a gunfight that's believe we all know that so so after this Sion was later stopped by Lance Corporal Mears and Lance Corporal had a revolver so Sion gave up. He threw his machete into the cane field and he subdued and was taken into custody. Straight into custody. No. I didn't put back up my mirror before I have a fit. Uh complain but I can't see. But this whole rampage lasted an hour. It lasted an hour hour it seems like it was so much but it only lasted an hour by the end of the day he still did a lot of damage in a freaking hour during his rampage he actually took four lives on the spot and he left six people injured and one of these injured people actually later i just pulled myself Anyways, one of these people that were injured um, later succumbed to her injuries, unfortunately. So that's a total of five people that he killed. And I don't think those five people included the animals. Like, I love donkeys. Where the donkeys? Like, the pig, the pig, because my favorite food is pigtail, but, um... The donkeys, dog? The donkeys, really? And that, pure, that poor mule, like... <sighs> Why am I more upset about the animals? Damn. But, yeah. So, during preliminary inquiry... Why did I say it like that? Inquiry, Sion Hope was actually charged with two counts of murder. And he was scheduled to be tried in the court of grand sessions. And this is where, after a five-hour trial, Sion Hope was sentenced to death. And he told his father. No, I don't. I don't understand. But he told his father to take the calf. You had a whole calf at home. I went killing other animals. Like. But anyway, uh, yeah, he was sent to death. Barbados Weekly actually posted on the morning of March 28th, 1933, Sion Davis paid for the lives that he took and his life was taken by hanging. Sorry. His life was taken by hanging and it was said that he died instantly at Glendary prison. So, Sion Hope 
His name was not known as a good one within the community. And the people who knew this story are long gone, unfortunately. Um, his family thought of him as evil. Like, they didn't even really know much about him from like the new generations because he was known about he was known as evil and they didn't even really like talking about him to begin with. Um but yeah, that's the end of this story. <sighs> was it worse than last week's case? Pretty much. Cause this man literally went mad over food understandable but like sir go cook your own food instead of killing people like what was the point what was the point but anyways tell me your thoughts on this case do you think he should have done what he did over some food or a bag of flour or <laughs> i bet none of y'all are gonna think that <laughs> that was worth doing over some food but yeah comment cases you want me to do down below i hope you like this other local case i'm trying to do more local cases and get some of these cases on the map yes didn't believe this was where it is for sure but it's crazy to know these things happen we're not really like seeing these things let me take that back <laughs> but it's Duh. yeah this is today's look it did kind of like a smoky eye but like covered it with glitter and i felt like red lip gloss was a better fit for it i don't really like red lipstick but we did what we had to do and this is today's final look tell me what you think in the comments down below leave a comment subscribe if you're new here like thumbs up so i could continue bringing this content to you guys and yeah leave case subscription case sub suggestions though in the comment box below and i'll see you guys next